uh, LG just download boost mobile user HD here and today I'm the, I'm gonna be doing a very interesting video guys it's about Verizon here so as you guys see the title of this article says Verizon reportedly offers to install apps on subscribers phones at one dollar to two dollars a pop this is very interesting and uh yeah this is very interesting guys I figured I share with you guys you know um I'm with phone and that comments and you guys can check this out this is very interesting it says hey if you're a Verizon customer your handset might become a target for companies willing to pay the carrier to have their apps installed on Big Red's handsets at one to two dollars a phone according to a report published by AdAge Verizon started approaching financial and retail firms late last year and with with this idea at the pricing discussed and with millions of phones potentially involved this could turn into a big money maker for the nation's largest carrier. Verizon has offered to preload these apps on Android phones only. You know a lot of Android phones get a lot of uh, bloatware and shit. Google allows carriers to customize Android while Apple has iOS locked down. The apps would be installed on new phones the first time that the handsets and software are activated. Verizon has 75 million postpaid accounts using smartphones and 10 million new handsets are activated each quarter. So there you go. The apps being promoted with this campaign will see a huge surge in installations, but there's no guarantee that any of those apps will be opened by Verizon customers. One ad executive who is not fond of Verizon's offer said that there's nothing that prevents big red customers from deleting those apps without opening them and activating them. And that is the risk that these businesses take when agreeing to sign up for Verizon's plans. Verizon could eventually promise companies that their apps will be targeted to certain demographics, but that's something not being offered right now. So uh you know people you know so these companies just install these apps on the on the Android phones from, from Verizon people can all in people can uninstall those apps if they don't want them so yeah you guys are going to read that quote right there if you guys want to um, it says before actually launching the program Verizon needs to take into consideration the backlash it will have to face from subscribers who are already up in arms about carriers but what um so yeah um uh, in my opinion, I don't think a lot of customers would like this because you know, you, the uh, you just installing bloatware on other people on people's phones and shit. But what else what happens when you get a new phone and shit or get a phone? Uh, you have a lot of shit on it that people don't use. Um, that's what carriers do. They install a lot of shit on there that people don't use. But people now, I think, uh, like now on like the newer Android phones, you can uninstall those apps. You don't have to worry about those apps. So. This is very interesting, guys. And if you guys are on Verizon, do you guys approve of this? Do you guys like this? Do you guys don't like this? I would, I would like to know. I would like to know your opinion if you are a Verizon postpaid subscriber. I don't mention anything about Verizon prepaid on there, but I'm sure the Verizon prepaid's in there somewhere. Um, because Verizon do install both right on the Verizon prepaid smartphones as well, not just postpaid phones, but their prepaid phones as well. So I would love to know y'all guys' opinions about this. Like I said, this is a very interesting article, guys. I figured I'd share it with you guys. So, uh, this is very interesting. And, um, yeah. But I don't think a lot of people would, I don't think a lot of people would like it, though, because, because when people get, when, because some people, when they get a new phone, they just want to install all the bloatware off their phone anyway. So, it might not sit well with some Verizon customers, but some Verizon customers may not care, but I don't know. So that's why I would love to know y'all's opinions about this. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. It uh, helps me out a lot. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Like to let's be in the description in, in the description of this video. Please rate, count, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.